This changes everything, Sig. We have more work to do, and it's your fault. What's up, guys? Welcome to another basement video. I'm going to take a break from doing the electrical today because we decided we're actually going to put a doorway coming down our stairs. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more framing. I'm going to extend that wall out a little bit, uh, probably about three foot, and cut it off there before the electrical outlet. And tear that down, put a uh, can light in there, and and put a doorway. So back to some more framing. We'll get that done. And I'm going to go ahead and frame out where the refrigerator is going to go in the bar as well. So get that going and uh, then continue on where we were. Alright, so after trying to take this corner apart, this ain't going to come off easy. I'm actually going to just remove this stud entirely and just replace it. Because I'm not going to mess with trying to take that sheetrock off piece by piece. There we go. We got that stud out. I'm going to nail the sheetrock, or screw the sheetrock into this board. Trim it. Throw another stud up against it for the, uh, the new piece to butt up against there as well. And we'll be good to go. All right, so this gives us a good base to work off of. We've got boards for all the sheetrock to go up against. We're going to be able to hang our can light right here in this area. We will get all this going, get all the screws out, get it cleaned up, and start framing. Well, that didn't work too well. Uh, I think we're just going to attach the base plate to the studs and uh, not do that. Now I gotta get that nail out of there. That was a little trickier than what I thought it was going to be just because of the room that I had down there. And as you saw, I, I split one of the treated boards when I tried nailing it into the concrete. So did something a little different, used some liquid nails and just secured these to that other wall. And everything is super solid. So there's our doorway. as you come down the stairs. All right, so now I have to clean up that area. So it's time for a cleanup montage. Right, there we go. I will recess this area back for a refrigerator and that looks like crap right now but I'm gonna actually do a whole wiring panel on the back side of where the refrigerator is once that's all set up so that will look better here in the future. And it's a new day. We're gonna go ahead and box in our frame for a refrigerator. I've got everything marked out on the floor there. So we'll do that and then get started run some wires. All right, 
so the refrigerator box is done. I'm gonna do a few more things with the framing while I got my saw out and, uh, and I'm doing that just for blocking for the uh, sheet rocker. But then as soon as I get that done, we're gonna start running wires. All right, so the time has come to start running wires. I'm gonna go ahead and take my drill and start putting some holes in the top plates where I need to, to run the main wires down to the outlets. I'm gonna start off on this half of the basement with all the outlets. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that happening. Unfortunately, battery-powered drills do not have enough torque to, uh, to do this sort of work all day long, going through, uh, through wood like that. So, this is actually almost a fully charged battery as well. So, I'm going to have to make a run Menard and get an electric drill. So, note to self, be sure to check when Menards closes before driving there. Missed it by like six minutes. And a hundred dollars later, we have the drill for the job. So what I'm doing now is running all the wires to the boxes. I try to make it in one continuous loop and loop around to the box that's either ending or to where I'm not going to be able to easily pull it through in one continuous uh, strand anymore. So what happens here is we make a big loop, staple it next to the box. We will cut this loop like I've done here, cut the ends. See our staple right next to the box. We give ourselves a service loop to be able to later on pull more wire through if we uh, run out for whatever reason and leave at least six inches of wire from our box so we can uh, properly hook up all of our uh, outlets and switches and whatnot. So last night I got the bar in the bathroom done um, I started doing my home runs, which means uh, running the wire to the main box back to the breaker box. And then I did my other home runs for the bedroom here for the outlet, office outlet box right over there, theater area box that's going to have all my equipment running off there. And I did the rest of the outlets for the basement coming out of that box. And I, uh, I labeled these with red tape so I know when I'm starting to wire everything else up that these are my main runs coming back. Everything else is gonna have to branch off of those. Today, we are gonna get our lights working down here. I'm finishing up running the wiring for those, so hopefully here later this afternoon, we should have some lights. Check this out. We have lights. This is just rough wired in there. I mean, obviously that's, uh, that's not too safe, but it dims, it turns off, it turns on, and there's another switch over there that works with it. All right guys, that's it for this week. I feel like we got a bunch done. Got our doorway built at the bottom of the stairs. Got our refrigerator cutout built in. Ran a ton of wiring, got some lights working. Um, now I need to focus on getting everything ready for the plumber to come in and rough in 
all the plumbing for the bathroom and bar. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button below, subscribe, and check back for more updates on the basement build.